I'm uh, Professor Carlos Frank. I'm the director of the Institute for Computational Cosmology at Durham University. What's it like being a scientist? In a word, amazing. The 21st century is the century of science. Science and technology are intimately related. When you look at the world around us today, the amazing things we can do with technology. You can talk to anybody we like, anywhere in the world, instantaneously. Diseases that were incurable a few decades ago are now routinely cured. And with science and technology, we can peer to the most remote corners of the universe. That is what being a scientist is all about. Well, what inspired me to be a scientist? There isn't one single big inspiration. The first was curiosity. I was just curious about the universe, curious about the world around me, curious about my environment. That was only part of it. Another part, like many of us, was meeting a truly inspirational teacher at school. This was the first physicist I've ever met, and he was Mr. Cool. Everything about him was great. He was elegant, he was intelligent, he was kind, and the things he talked about were just so amazing. Then I met other people who inspired me along the way. Martin Rees was one of them, former uh, president of the Royal Society. I met him when I was deciding what I wanted to do. And after talking to him, it was clear to me there was one thing I wanted to do in life, and that was to be an astrophysicist. The funniest thing that's happened in my career was um, just about a year ago, I was giving a public talk at something called the European Astrofest. It was a talk on dark matter uh, to a large audience, of over a thousand people in London, and I was explaining how we figured out that there is dark matter by using Newton's theory of gravitation. And I had a picture of Newton on the screen. And as I'm pointing to Newton, I look up and what do I see? Brian May, the guitarist from Queen, who is the living person with the closest resemblance to Newton, walked into the auditorium just at that moment. Of course, I had to say, if you have any questions for Newton, please ask. What invention could I not live without? Well, I earned my living uh, doing astrophysics, so clearly there is an invention that I couldn't live without, and that is the telescope. But I think it goes beyond my own occupation. I think my life and that of many people would be greatly impoverished if we didn't have telescopes, because it is telescopes that allow us to move from our planet. It is the telescopes that reveal to us the enormity and the majesty of the cosmos in which we live. Well, the best way to inspire a child to become a scientist would be just to leave them alone. I think children are naturally curious and there is no better way to satisfy your curiosity than to become a scientist. I think if we left children alone, all of them would become scientists.